Final Cut Pro has a built-in shape mask feature and I use it all the time. Unfortunately, it is not trackable using the brand new object tracker in Final Cut Pro. So today we're gonna do a quick workaround using Apple Motion to make Final Cut Pro just a little bit better. So the original method in Final Cut Pro is to go to your effects, look up the shape mask tool and drag it on. You could then scale it down do what you need to do, and then if you wanted to track a subject, you'd go into the transform options, go to the position, add a keyframe, and manually move this along with your subject. But that's time consuming, and I am very lazy. So what we're gonna do is open up Apple Motion, and I promise, even if you've never touched Motion in your life, you can absolutely do this. So open up Motion, if you don't get the project browser, go ahead and push Command, Option, and N, and then you're gonna select the Final Cut effect. Go down to Open, then making sure that your effect source is selected, go on up to the Inspector, go down to properties and find the opacity slider. Move on over here, click on this down arrow and push publish. Now what this is gonna do is push this slider into Final Cut Pro so we have total control over it. We're actually gonna set it down to 0%, then we're gonna push Command S, and this will enable us to publish the effect over to Final Cut Pro. We're gonna rename it to be Trackable Shape Mask. Then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have the category of masks. If you don't have that category, go down and create a new category and this will sort it in with the other Final Cut Pro masks. After that, we're gonna go ahead and push publish. Once that is published, we can jump right back on over into Final Cut Pro. And now if we go down to our masks, we can find our trackable shape mask. Drag that on and you're gonna see that everything goes completely dark. Again, this is a workaround, it's not perfect, but it's awesome. From there, we're gonna come up here to the top right and you're gonna see this little icon and we're gonna click that and click add a shape mask and you can see how the shape mask is black in the center. We're actually gonna click on that icon again and go down to invert masks. So we now have a shape mask that is gonna work perfectly with the object tracker in Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and unlink everything using this unlink button. Go on over to the tracker options and we can push analyze. This is gonna track the guy running and just like that we now have a tracked mask. Now there is a weird glitch with Final Cut Pro right now, hopefully they fix it soon, where the scaling is gonna happen regardless of our unlinking up here. So to fix that, come on over here to this down arrow and disable the scale options. Then jump back over to your shape mask, adjust the size accordingly, and you should be good to go. So hopefully that quick workaround is helpful to you in some way. If it was, consider pressing that like button. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, I have a strong feeling you're gonna really enjoy this tutorial about creating a clone stamp using Apple Motion. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.